Alright everybody, welcome back to Bateman Gaming. We're going to be playing ARC tonight. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I'm not going to play on my Ragnarok server or on my Extinction server. I am going to start a single player game on the center. Because I want to do a short little how-to beginner's guide tutorial thing. And you know, I may do more than this. I may end up going through and doing like a little little beginner's guide how-to of like most of the main things in the game. Uh, but I wanted to do this um, just for people who haven't played the game. You know, I had a, a friend of mine that recently started playing and he... He, uh, he texted me and was like, hey man, how do I cook meat? And I remember when I first started playing, being just like, how do I do this? How do I do this? You know, what, what's this? What do I need? You know, you, you don't know. It doesn't give you a tutorial. It doesn't explain anything. So, I'm just going to do a short little guide here. And I've got it right here at the beginning. The only setting that I've changed is I've turned the difficulty up. It starts at uh, 0.2. I turn the difficulty up to 1 because it's going to make the dinosaurs spawn at a higher level. So, when I tame them, they'll be better. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, single player. And when I upload this to my YouTube channel, I'm not going to edit it. I usually edit my ARC videos from Twitch, my streams, um, but I want I want people to see, like, straight up what it's like, you know? So we're going to go ahead and get started. We are going to go ahead and get started. And I picked the center map because, to be honest, the center map is very near and dear to my heart. It's the map that I played on on the public servers. Uh, I, I love this map. I really do. <clears throat> it's not as big as some of the other ones like Ragnarok or whatever, but uh, I really, really love this map. It's got some really cool spots to build in, and just it's just a really cool map. It's fun to play. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this little beginner's guide walkthrough on the center. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what you would uh, need to know right away. Right away, what you're going to need to know is uh, you're going to need to figure out the buttons. If you're playing on PC, I can't help you. Um, we'll go over that here in just a second. Um, crafting your character, making your character is pretty. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it just like this. We have to name him though, because you know I'm, I'm the Bateman. So let's give him a name. Batesman. And we will spawn, always spawn, when you first start the game in one of the areas that say easy. Always. It's going to be a little easier. It's still going to be hard, but it's going to be a little easier. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started on our beginner's guide to surviving on the Ark here on Bateman Gaming. Okay. So this little opening spawn thing, I have actually been killed during this little thing right here. Like, I've basically spawned being killed. Uh, it happens. It's one thing you have to understand first and foremost about Ark is you're going to die. You're going to die. Sometimes you're going to lose all your shit because you're not going to be able to get back to your body. Sometimes you're going to lose every dinosaur you have tamed. It's going to happen. That's the way this game is. It's okay. Just get over it. Okay, so... Right on the right hand side, we're going to have uh, the little icons there. The little arrow one that you see is a little partially full. That is my basically my experience bar. When that gets full, I'll level up. The one below that that's completely empty is my weight. You can't hardly see it. It's an anvil. Um, I'm not carrying anything. That's why it's uh, empty. Then, of course, water, food. The lightning bolt is my stamina. When that runs out, like if that runs out, if you run out of stamina while you're in the water, you can't surface, you can't swim fast basically gonna drown unless you're close to the edge or you're wearing like a scuba tank or something and of course the little cross at the bottom is my health uh, the buttons are gonna be of course you know your basic uh, left trigger is gonna be to aim with things uh, right trigger is gonna be to attack uh, the left bumper scrolls to your second half of your toolbar there at the bottom as you can see the little thing going back and forth the right bumper also attacks. That's odd. Hmm. I think it does something else, though. Uh, the B button is... I'm playing on Xbox. Uh, respectively, if it's a PlayStation, it's going to be the circle button. 
it pulls up your inventory, which is where you equip things. You also have your crafting menu, which if you push the uh, right bumper, it will switch between the two crafting things. And if you push the start button, it's going to switch between the different sections. This is Ingrams, where when you level, you get points to spend, and you can buy Ingrams to make new stuff. It's very, very important. <clears throat> this is my tribe. Uh... Taming order groups, I don't mess with all that. It's our explorer notes. Um, these right here are skins that you can actually put on things to make them look like that. Like when I make myself uh, some cloth clothing, which we'll go through here eventually. Uh, I'll put some of these skins on so you guys can see. Uh, also, right here with your Ingrams, um, there is a thing called a mine wipe tonic that you can make later in the game when you get the resources that will allow you to reset your Ingram points so you can buy different Ingrams if you bought some you didn't want. Uh, if you have buyer's remorse, so to speak. Alright, so we're just starting off. It, it appears we're in a relatively safe spot. And let's, let's go back to this real quick. <clears throat> you see you have the stone pick here. You're going to need that stone pick to get from big rocks what you need to build this it's going to be uh flint uh and we'll go over all that so um i need stone and you wonder well you know you can't punch the rock and get stone i don't think you can anyway uh it's going to hurt you if you do but you these stones here on the ground you can pick them up with the y button which respectively for the playstation it's going to be the triangle button and you just pick them up. That's also the same way you gather berries off of plants. And uh, it's also like how you interact with like ladders, like to climb them or whatnot. Now, you guys see this over here coming down? That's a drop. That is going to have um, random items in it. And uh, some drops are uh, higher level, and you have to be a certain level to, to actually be able to get them. You see that down the beach there? That looks like a dillo. That's a dillosaurus. They'll spit in your face, and they will... Uh, They'll fuck you up, but he's coming down this way, of course. And I've leveled. You get experience from everything. We're not going to mess with that right this second. Because we need to get this pickaxe built, or we will die. You be Johnny on the spot. These turtles won't aggr uh, aggro you. Most of the <clears throat> non-meat-eating, the herbivore animals, will not aggro you. Um, so you spawn in an easy spot. Hopefully you'll spawn. There'll be less aggressive dinosaurs to deal with. But you do have to get your first bit of thatch and wood from punching a tree. You see it's giving me thatch over there, but I need some wood. I think I need two. Yes. Okay. And then we go in here. See, see we have our, our stuff, our stone and thatch and wood here. And it, see, I can craft... Nope, I need more thatch. I can't make it yet. So... Just a little more. That thatch. To me. Yeah. You see it's actually hurting my health as well to punch this tree. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. And yes, see it's highlighted in gray. That means I can make it. And it also shows you crafting requirements. It will show you if you need to make it at a smithy or some other type of workbench like a fabricator. We're going to go ahead and craft that. <clears throat> See, I need uh, flint to make this torch. Torch is going to be super important at night. And I will hit this with the uh, the A button. And on the PlayStation controller, it's going to be the X button, respectively. And that will highlight it. And then I'll just move it down here. I could do this. Hold on. We double tap it. It'll move it down there to the first available slot. And now you see I can pull that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is going to give me a bunch of thatch. Now, if you... Use a pickaxe. Pick this is a pickaxe. If you use a pickaxe on a tree, it's going to give you more thatch. But if you use a hatchet, it's going to give you more wood. The same way with an animal. Um, if you use a hatchet on an animal, it's going to give you more hide. And if you use a pickaxe, it's going to give you more meat. On the rock, uh, like stone, it will give you more stone with the hatchet and more flint with the pickaxe. And as you see, I need flint here. So I'm just going to gather this flint up. See, it's just giving me mostly flint. It's because I'm using this little pickaxe here. We'll go over here. And we'll go ahead and make that. And while we're here, we will go ahead and spin this this point. Okay, let's let's go over the stats for a minute. Health, of course, is health. Stamina, of course, is stamina. Oxygen, um, 
Oxygen, of course, dictates how long you can hold your breath, how much oxygen you have. Food is how much food you can uh, you can hold when you're full. Same with water. Same with weight. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Crafting skill. Um, oh my God, what is that down there? Is that that? You also have to be super aware. That appears to be a Carno. Uh, he's a predator. He's super aggressive, and he'll kill the shit out of me if he comes down here. I am not equipped for that at all. Um, so. Early on, best case scenario is just try to avoid fighting anything, especially at the very beginning, like where I'm at. Like, I have nothing. I have nothing. Uh, so, yeah, let's spin this point, and I'm going to go ahead and put this first point in um, stamina. No, actually, weight. I'm going to put it in weight, because everything is really heavy. So now I have eight points. I'm going to unlock the hatchet, and I'm going to unlock the... Uh, I'm going to unlock the spear. I'll level real quick these first couple levels, so it won't matter. The spear, though at the very beginning is a super, super useful tool. Oh, let me go ahead and build this hatchet. I need this. Ah, yes. Fiber and wood. Okay, so fiber actually comes from plants. It's the same place you get berries from, which you can eat berries. Uh, don't eat the white ones, the stem berries, or the narcotics. Uh, the stem berries will stimulate you, but they dehydrate the shit out of you. And the narcotics will, well, they'll drug you up and knock you out. And then you're laying on the ground unconscious for something to just come up and eat you. Ha ha! So, yeah. Get the fiber from there. It's the berries. You can also make dyes from the berries uh, with a cooking pot or an industrial cooker. But we'll, we'll get to that later. This is the, the very, very beginning. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and equip the torch. I like to put the torch in my very, very far inventory slot. That's just me. My preference. Um hatchet down. The hatchet goes in the first one. I like the pickaxe in the second one. I'm weird like that. Particular particular about my stuff. Okay, so where are we at now? What are we looking at? We have, uh, we need to make some spears, so we're going to need uh, more wood for that and more fiber. We have enough fiber to make one. So, as you see, I was using the pickaxe on the tree, and you see more thatch, less wood. Now, if I use the axe, the regular hatchet, it gives me mostly wood. And the same way with the rocks. So it's giving me mostly stone. And the same way with animals. It's like that with uh, most of the things in the game. Like if you're gathering metal from uh, metal-rich rocks, you want to use your pickaxe. If you're gathering crystal, you want to use your pickaxe. Um, and, and I'll try to cover all that like as I get to it. I'll try to make sure that, that I don't miss anything. I'm going to try to be very thorough in this uh, guide to help any, anybody who's just getting on. Maybe you're playing by yourself. Uh, if you're on a public server, I'm sorry. Uh, they're private servers to rent, and if you know, you can always play single player. I, I don't know what else to say. I played on a public server for about six months, and um, yeah, it was pretty shitty. Uh, people can be pretty shitty online. Because there's no consequences, so this is all about. Uh, yeah, see, like, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. You see my, my food there, 72.2 of 100. And uh, so you yeah, eat these berries. They don't fill me up a lot. I can eat them anyway. Mijo berries, if you tame any herbivore dinosaurs, we, we will get to taming. Um, yes, if you don't know, um, if, if you somehow manage to get this game and don't know that you can tame dinosaurs, you can tame dinosaurs, and it's pretty awesome. You can ride them. You can tame flying dinosaurs and fly them. On some maps, you can uh, raise a wyvern or a dragon, and you can have those. It's pretty awesome. But surely, if you're watching this and you're playing this game, you already know that. If you got this game. Alright, I leveled up again. Gotta definitely spend these points at the beginning. I'm gonna put a lot into weight. As I said, things are really heavy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the campfire. And uh, the water skin is nice, but the issue with it is that it leaks. It, see, it says slowly leaks. Well, it's not as slow as you would like, I, I believe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and unlock this and this, and I can't unlock any more. But crafting, crafting and killing things are the two best ways to get experience in this. So, like, I'll craft everything I can. So I'm going to need 90 fiber to craft both those. And it's also going to give me a little bit of armor, and it'll give me a little bit of protection from the elements. Because, uh, as you'll see here, let me go to this. One thing I didn't cover was your fortitude. Down there, you see at the second to the bottom, fortitude, how it's empty. Well, that allows me to uh, deal with different, different climates better. 
Uh, like, I don't get as cold in the cold or as hot in the heat. Um, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, you don't get very much when you put a point into it, so it's not super effective. You really need to prepare gear-wise for going into the different climates. Uh, you, you know, you need to have uh, fur fur armor on if you're going to go into the really cold area so you don't freeze. You can actually overheat and it will kill you and you can freeze to death and it will kill you. Um, you can die from all manner of things in this game. Pretty much everything about this game wants you to die. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic game though. It's beautiful. Like look at this. Look at this nice little beach here. I don't even know where I am on the map. I didn't even look. Oh, yeah, here's my map. If you push the select button it'll pull up the map. Uh, you see where I'm at. I'm over there. Oh, yeah. 50 by 75. Sweet. Looks like I'm on a little island, too. Hopefully, it's, uh, it's, it's relatively safe. There's... Mm, I don't know of any place that there are no predators on the center. I know there's an island on the island map where there are no aggressive dinosaurs. I know there's a chain of islands on the Ragnarok map. Um, I don't know about this one, though. I don't know. See that pterodon over there flying around? We'll eventually be able to tame one of those and fly it. See that quetzal up there? That big, big one? That's a quetzal. You can uh, tame one of those and build a platform on its back and carry, like, T-Rexes and shit on that thing. You can build an entire base flying around on that thing's back. It's amazing the stuff you can do in this game. But, uh, yeah, we need to focus on what I'm doing. Okay, you see I just got that long grass seed over there. I'm just There's so much information to give, and I know a lot of this isn't basics, but um, it comes later. But the seeds you can plant later, and uh, crop, plots that, crop plots that you can build, you can craft them, and um, yeah, you have to fertilize it and irrigate. You have to make sure it has water and it has fertilizer of some type, be it actual fertilizer or you can use poop. Uh, which you, yeah, there's a number of ways to make fertilizer, and we'll, we'll cover that when we get to it. Anyway, just the basics. First off, you, you want to, uh, unlock, of course, cover this already, build this, get the stuff to build these two, build those two. You want to unlock spears. I'm going to go ahead and build both those spears, because that's going to be my protection. If something attacks me, it's going to be all I have. They break very easily. Go ahead. I actually have exactly 90, so I'll go ahead and craft both those two. They break very easily, but you can also throw them, and it's better than nothing. I mean, at the very beginning, it's it can be life-saving to have those. Can be. You see, these give me 10 armor and 15 hypothermic insulation, which I believe they help me stay a little cooler. They help me from being hot. I'm just going to go ahead and equip those. So now, you see in the middle, I have 20 armor. Oh, yes. Fantastic. A big dog now and yeah, you can throw these just like this like you push the uh, left uh, L2 it's L2 uh, you push L2 and you hold it down just like you would if you were aiming anything in just about any game where there's anything you would aim like a gun or a bow or something like that and then you just push the right trigger to throw it actually no I'm sorry you let go of L2 and it throws it and unfortunately I think I lost that one usually you can pick them up especially if they're in something but I think because I threw it right into that rock it's gonna be gone I think I screwed the pooch there yeah yeah this game's like that sometimes too it's also really screwy um, it's cuz it's beautiful it's beautiful so shit doesn't always work the way it's supposed to anyway back to it we gotta gather more of these basic stuffs because we are by no means safe. It will get dark. And, uh, yeah, you're by no means safe. Also, if you are not playing on a single player, like if you're playing on uh, a public server or a private server, the server continues to operate when you log off. So if you're not somewhere safe, you're going to wake up dead. And all your stuff's going to be gone because something's going to kill you while you're logged off. Just gather the resources. Gather it up. You gotta gather it up real good. You're gonna need it all. You're gonna need it all. You're gonna need everything. You can even save your poop if you'd like. Although, you know, it's not gonna last long enough unless you have a compost bin built. Which we'll get to it. We'll get to that when we get to that. For right now, your main, main goal should be food, water, and uh, 
shelter of some kind that's safe. And, you know, this is a nice little open area on the beach. There doesn't seem to be anything super aggressive. There is a dillo down there, though. Let me see what I need to make more spears. I think I need fiber. Of course I do. So I'm going to make a couple more spears real quick, and we're going to go down here and kill this dillo. And uh, we're going to get some meat and some hide, because you need hide to build a lot of stuff. And, of course, you need meat to eat. I mean... These berries are all right, but you got to eat a lot of these berries if you're going to try to live on just berries. And as you can see, I'm not getting a whole bunch from gathering by hand. Um, some dinosaurs that you tame can actually have utility purposes. Uh, actually, a lot of them have utility purposes. Some of them gather berries real well, though. Like a Stegosaurus or a Triceratops. They're very slow, but they're big. They have a lot of life. They're kind of decent protection in the beginning. And, um, they only take berries to tame. And they gather the shit out of berries. Um, you can also, as I said, make a garden and grow your own berries. But that's something that's going to happen later. Because you have to unlock it and you have to have a stable place. And you have to irrigate it and do all that. So, yeah. You can carry as many of, the, many of these spears as, uh, as you have the weight to carry. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go up here and, uh... We're going to piss this Dillo off, because he'll attack the shit out of us if we don't anyway. And of course, that really, really missed. Let me see I get my spear back, though. Got it back, okay. Come at me. See him spit? See, I dodged that. And that's what you want to do when he does that spit thing, is you want to just kind of dodge to the left or right. I'm going to let him hit me with it in a minute. Uh, if he tries to do it again, he's not going to do it, but that other one will when I aggro it. Just so you guys can see what it's like. And the best thing to do... When a Dillo does spit in your face and you can't see, it's just to keep hitting. Because they're going to keep coming forward at you. And if you keep hitting, it'll keep knocking them back. Um, I want to get as much hide off this guy as I can. And generally, that's the case unless I just need a lot of meat for something specific. So I'm going to use my hatchet. Oh, yes. It actually gave me more meat than it did hide. But uh, that's probably because it's just a Dillo. It happens sometimes. So yeah, we're going to come over here, and we're going to uh, piss this guy off real quick. And this is also experience I'm getting, too, for killing these. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Let him spit on me. Let's see, it blinds you, kind of. But if you just, see how he just keeps walking? He'll just keep walking forward into that shit. Just keep on, just, just hitting him, just hitting him. You see this other one's coming over here? He's going to try to spit at me, dodge that shit. Yes, you have nothing to know. Oh, spears, yeah, the spears break very easy. Oh, I'm injured. I'm almost dead. No. Oh, no. Oh. You see? You see? And that is also a very good lesson. Because I aggroed those Dillos thinking, oh, I'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. But I had no gear and no armor and no good weapons. And unfortunately, I had not built a sleeping bag or a bed. So I now get to spawn at a random spawn location and try to run back and find the bag that's left from my eaten body to get the items I had. Or I could just let them spoil and disappear and start over with nothing. But I'm going to try to get the bag back because I'm going to spawn in the same spawn region, so hopefully I'll be close to it. Um, but yeah, when you build a sleeping bag, you can spawn once on that. And when you build a bed, you can spawn every five minutes on that. So when you get a safe place you really want to build a bed early on okay it spawned me somewhere totally different I'm getting attacked by uh these things here they're assholes they're really hard to kill and i'm probably gonna die again and this is uh this is how the beginning of, of arc is so yeah my best suggestion is that um don't aggro the dillos like i did it just for an example because i wanted to show you guys some stuff but um yeah i really shouldn't have done that at that point i'm gonna take all this it's a bunch of building pieces, and that's oh, what has hit me, what has hit me, it's still those birds. Uh, bunch, it's a bunch of building pieces, yeah, I'm gonna die, they're gonna kill me, it's not gonna matter. And I could have used those building pieces to build something, to help me build a type of structure to put a bed in, and you know, like a fireplace, and just have like a little base, maybe put like a box down so I could start up stuff. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> we'll respawn in the same area again, hopefully maybe it'll put me close to my first bag. Actually gonna go ahead and spend these points I have. 
unlock the rest of the stuff. Sweet. Okay, so... Judging by the location of that little island out there, which I actually bet that island out there has nothing aggressive on it. Uh, it'd be a great spot. I think my bag is probably going to be over this way, but you see those seagull birds? They're assholes. Oh, look, there's that car note. Yeah, my bag's definitely over this way. Definitely on the right beach. So we're going to try to... Uh, can also crouch with the right button. The right, uh, right analog stick, if you push that down, R3, it crouches you. And you run with the uh, left analog button, and it's a toggle on and off thing. Uh, I don't think there's an option to change it from toggle to hold, but why would you want to? It's a toggle on and off thing. So yeah, beginner's guide. Uh, don't attack anything. That's a Therizinosaur, and that will, uh, if that aggros me, it will slaughter me. Mercilessly. So we're gonna just gotta run over this way. Try not to get slaughtered mercilessly. Please don't slaughter mercil me mercilessly, sir. Uh, pick up that stone while we're going. Pick up that stone while we're going. And that stone while we're going. Stone while we're going. I mean, look at the map. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we should be getting close to our first bag, which should still be here. I think it's like a 10 or 15 minute timer before it despawns and you lose your stuff forever. Um, there would be a body if I hadn't got eight, but the uh, Dilosaur ate my body right after it killed me, so there's just going to be a brown bag. And I'm assuming those two Dilosaurs are probably the ones. I think I'm pretty close to the spot I was in. Just looking, looking, trying not to piss them off. See, there it is. There's my bag. So the key is I want to get that bag without getting aggroed because they'll kill me again and it'll suck. They've actually got a pretty pretty wide area of aggro too. There there are some shifty little bastards. So we're just gonna appear. I'm gonna uh, access it with Y or you can access it with X. If you push the left bumper, it will take all the items. It is a quick way to get everything out of the bag. All right, it's raining. It's fine over here and re-equip this stuff that I had, the what little stuff that I had. You see it gives you these skins different you'll probably may not have the same skins, but it gives you the skins every time you die. I just like to drop them. Stem berries unless I need them for something. Uh, these are cool. Instead of it being a torch, it's gonna be a sparkler. Oh yes, it's nice. I like it. Alright. I think I'm going to make my way down the beach to that green drop, because there could be some useful stuff in there. Run. Uh, be, uh, be careful on your stamina, though. You don't want to get caught by something that's aggroing you when you have no stamina to run away or attack it. It's a poop. You can pick up poops. Uh, you can use them to make fertilizer when you make a compost bin. Pterodons. That's the first flying dinosaur you will probably tame because it's one of the earlier ones. It's the earliest one you can make a saddle for that flies. And it's uh, relatively easy to tame. You really just need bolos, which we'll cover, we'll cover that as well when we get there. When we get there. We're not there yet. It's a dodo. Dodos are awesome because they're worthless, but they're super weak. And it's like the easiest source of like meat at the very, very beginning, because you see, like, I don't even need nothing to do, just punch this dodo to death. I can hit him. The hitboxes are also screwy on this sometimes. He's a level 85, that's why it's taking so long. Oh, he's unconscious now. See, I could tame him. If I put meat in his inventory, it would tame him, but I, I don't want to do that. I want to get the uh, meat hide off of him kill them and he went to the rock so all that was for naught but uh it showed that hey you can you can kill something or knock something unconscious with just your fists especially something really weak these lystrosaurs are actually passive tame like you can't knock them out and tame them you have to on passive tame you put their food of choice in your far inventory slot where i have my torch 
And if you creep up behind them and get close, it'll tell you to put it in there, which I'll show you guys real quick. I'm not going to actually tame this. I'm just going to show you. I know. Is this not your favorite food? This seems like it should be your favorite food. Oh, there it is. Okay, feed him a Mijo Berry to tame. And see how he's starting to tame there. But I'm not going to tame him. Uh, his th These Lystrosaurs, their only purpose is if you put them around your other tamed dinosaurs and you pet them, it will increase the passive amount, the amount of passive experience your dinosaurs get for a short time. So they're nice if you have uh, some dinos that are just standing around your yard, you know. So Overraptor, that little skittish thing, they're very skittish. They uh, increase the egg laying rate of your dinosaurs, your tamed dinosaurs. Uh, other than that, they're worthless. Um, as far as I know, well, except for their eggs, you can use various different eggs to make kibble, but that's, we're nowhere near that. I suppose if there was Enosaur there, back up a little bit. I don't think he's super aggressive, but I don't want to piss him off either. Oh, see? I have to be level 15 to get into that. What's this? Oh, the copies on me now. These copies are assholes. It sucks to get killed by a copy, too, because you're like, ah, oh, I got killed by this tiny, tiny little lizard. But they're running packs most of the time, and they don't fucking kill you. Like, no joke. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the Therizinosaur, you guys. I guess I got too close to it. And that's another good beginner lesson is uh, always be super, super aware of your surroundings because I have now lost all my stuff again and I have to go try to hunt it down or start over. Um, and yeah, this is my beginner's guide to ARC. I mean, this is what it's like when you first start, especially when you're by yourself. And what's horrible is I actually know quite a bit about this game and I'm still getting killed. Um, that's just how it is. You're weak and pathetic in the beginning. I'm gonna put this other point in stamina. I know the clothes. Okay. Thatch stuff is gonna be the first stuff you're gonna build. Oh, I should've learned the sleeping bag first. I learned a thatch foundation and a thatch door frame, though. Okay, where am I at? Let me see. If I look at the map, okay, if I go this direction, I'll get back to my bag. That's really the goal, is I want to try to get back to my stuff. And if anything aggroes me, I'm going to try to avoid it in the water. And hopefully there's nothing aggressive in the water, like a Megalodon or a Stingray. Or, I don't think Stingrays are aggressive. They might be, though. Not 100% on that. I don't spend a lot of time in the water in this game. I really, really don't fucking like it. Um, but it's, it's pretty, but there's lots of shit that'll kill you. Uh, those are dolphins over there. Dolphins won't hurt you. So we're just going to try to make our way down this beach here to get our damn bag back. You see, I'm just picking everything up that I run across as I go because I'm going to need it at some point unless I lose it all anyway. But there's no reason not to because I'm already walking past it. It's a damn Carno down there. Oh my gosh, so I gotta go around him again. So I'm I got I'm a ways from my stuff. Oh there's my uh my second bag. That probably doesn't have anything in it. I don't think I had anything when I died that time. Nope, just some oh, you know what? No, you know what? I had uh I had the stuff I got out of that drop, all the little thatch pieces. And a bed. And a blueprint for a bed, which means I can build a bed now, uh, and I probably don't have to learn the Ingram. I th I'm pretty sure it means I don't have to learn the Ingram. So yeah, yeah, uh, drops especially very early on are nice, because I have almost enough stuff there to build a tiny, tiny little thatch hut, which will not protect me from most things. Like, most things that would attack you could get through the hut, but it's still more safety than nothing. Like, the Carno... If I, if it aggroed me, if it tried to attack me and I ran inside the hut, it would just break through the hut and kill me. But if I'm inside the hut already, I think it might not aggro me. There's another Therizinosaur. Those things are nasty. I just gotta avoid it. 
It's basically just want to avoid everything in the beginning. As you saw, I was killed by a seagull. A fucking seagull. So yes, avoid everything in the beginning. Um, especially shit that seems aggressive. You see that Carno? That Carno will just eat everything. He'll chase anything. Just like a bloodlust, like he just needs it. He's crazy. Pick this stuff up as we go. You see these dodos are everywhere too, and you you can't actually tame them, but they're worthless. Like you can, uh, <sighs> they're worthless. Like a level one dodo is a level one hundred dodo is still nowhere near as powerful as a level one T Rex. They're they're worthless. Um, no matter how many of them you get together, they still are not worth anything. Okay, so there's the green drop there that I got killed by. So I know my stuff's down there. I'm just going to keep on making my way to it. Slowly by slowly. Picking stuff up as I go. You know, it may not seem like a lot, but it'll add up. And it's like, uh... It's like a killing two birds with one stone. I'm kind of gathering some stuff while I'm making my way to my other stuff that I... 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 Is on my dead body. Just making my way, you guys. And yeah, um... Kinda, kinda, with this this whole uh, beginner's guide tutorial thing I'm doing here, like a lot of times I'm gonna do things and it's gonna be bad, and I'm gonna go, yeah, don't do that. I mean, you you can learn as good from that as you can from me going. This is what you're supposed to do, because it's not that I don't know the best way to do stuff. It's just that uh, sometimes things happen in this game, and you have to make very quick decisions. You don't have time to think. You just have to react. And sometimes, you don't make the right decision. <laughs> and it costs you. Um, that's just how it is. I mean, I mean, just like with... Uh, I was dicking around with this, uh, these Lystra Swords. Oh, shit. There's a Pego Mastix. He stole my Mijo Berries, but he's going to run off. I'm just going to let him uh, let him do that. Because I don't want to fuck with him right now. Because I need my stuff. See the light? If you... Uh, you should have this light. If you don't have this light, turn on Corpse Locator. Because it's like one of the best things. We're just going to go ahead and take all that. And now I'm over encumbered, as you can see. I'm too heavy. See my little my little weight thing? I can't move at all. Which is fine. Berries. What do I have that's so heavy? It's all these, these crafting materials, huh? I've got a bunch of wood. A bunch of wood. I don't want to drop that. So what we're going to do is... Um, Craft all five of these spears I can craft. Because generally, materials are lighter after you craft them into something. I'm going to go ahead and craft the fireplace. The f not a fireplace, I'm sorry. It's a campfire. But that's going to be what you're going to cook on at first when you get some meat. Hopefully this will lower my weight enough for me to move. Maybe, yes. It looks like it will. Alright, I'm still super, super heavy. Um, so I'm going to have to drop something. Which sucks, I really don't want to drop anything. I'm going to keep everything I have. Because I'm a hoarder. It's a, it's a problem. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's really good to keep all your stuff in this game, though. Uh, trying to decide what to drop. You know what, we'll drop a... Uh, Oh, also, if you see uh, up there at the top where it says split half Y and split one is X, uh, you can split the stack. And we're going to go ahead and drop two of them. I'm going to keep one, though. And that should make me light enough to let me move just a tiny, tiny bit. These guys right here are pretty much worthless. Um, they're not completely worthless, but they're kind of worthless. Better than nothing, though. It's uh, expendable transportation. And, uh, you know, they can carry weight, and you can have them follow you, if nothing else, if you tame one. Right now, I'm mainly just worried about that Therizinosaur, because I'm moving extremely slow. I'm just going to go ahead and drop some of this stuff. I really don't want to do it. I'm going to drop the stone. That'll give me all the weight away to let me move. I kind of want to build a house right here, because it's nice, but I know there's that... That, uh, that Carno down the beach. So what I'm going to do is, see how it's getting dark too. Nighttime is pretty dark around here most of the time. I'm going to go ahead and put that in weight as well. Go 
go ahead and uh, learn the hide sleeping bag. Which, as I said, will let you spawn on it one time. But still, it's better than uh, having to spawn at a random location. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to swim to this little island over here. And, of course, I'm going to try to scope out the water first and make sure that there's nothing... Uh, you fuck off. He stole my Mijo Berry again. <sighs> Those things are bastards. Uh, so yeah, before you go trying to swim anywhere, make sure your stamina is full. Because you're going to use stamina swimming, and if you're running a stamina in the water, you're going to drown. Uh, let's do a little look. doesn't appear to be anything aggressive. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this swim to this island here. Which I bet that's not even an island. That's another landmass. But whatever, we're gonna swim over there anyway. Are we? Are we though? Hold on. It's been a long time since I played on the center. I am not entirely sure where I'm at. I just know that everywhere is dangerous to me. Actually, that down there looks familiar. That rock looks very, very familiar. The one that looks like a doorway. Anyway, that doesn't super, super matter for the moment. We just need something. That fucking Herozinosaur is still... Dang, we, well, we just want to get away from... We want to get away from anything that could be aggressive. And we're going to build this little hut. And we'll build a fire. And we'll cover that. And that will be uh, my first video, I think. On how to. Beginner's Guide. How to survive on the Ark. Don't die. That's how you survive on the Ark. It's freaking, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's it's just super super easy. Is that fucker following me? No, that's a parasaur. Okay. I thought that Therizinosaur was about to follow me. I was like, dude, this guy is like stalking me. It's a nice little spot here. So yeah, we're gonna swim right across here, and I think I'm gonna set this up right here on this beach. It's pretty safe. I don't see anything that's super aggressive. There may be like something small over here, but. That'll be it. And yeah, we could have just walked around, but yeah, I wanted to just swim across because that's how I roll. And you see how I'm almost out of damn stamina. That could be very, very bad. Alright, nice flat area up here. Nice and flat. I like to scope it out. See, I'm one of those people that I'm like, oh, I just want to find the perfect place to build, like, every time I build something. And it's like, dude, like, this is the beginning little thatch hut. It does not matter. You just need something. You need something to get inside. Something to put a bed and a storage box so you have a place to respawn and a place to store stuff so you can start building up items because you can't carry that much. You really, really can't. Just gonna. And this is how you put stuff down. You put it into your hot bar. You put a thatch foundation down. Just put that. And you see this here? See how it is? You just. It'll be red if you can't put it there. We're just gonna put it right here. Um, just a little bit farther in here, where it's a little more flat. Hopefully, I don't screw myself here. The resources around it are not gonna respawn either, but this is fine. Right, and you see, we just got this S plus mod where on console where we can pick it up after thirty within thirty seconds of putting it down. Um, I need I need more than just this one square though, so I need to look and see what I need to make more of this thatch foundations. I need fiber, thatch, and wood, which I can actually make one more, and then I'm gonna need uh, more fiber and more wood. So that's fine. Real, real hungry. Uh, you can't gather uh, berries or fiber while you have a tool in your hand either. You have to uh, put everything away and be barehanded. Barehanded, that shit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I could have come in and set it all up beforehand and everything, but you know, like... Uh, I kind of feel like it works good this way, though. It works good that you see, and it just kind of auto-snaps. 
Just stole my long grass. It's fine, I don't care as long as he doesn't kill me. He's still swimming around, still flying around. I hate those things. Uh, craft another one. While well, it's on your toolbar, if you push it, it'll craft it. Fuck off! Those things, hate those things. I'm gonna make this a 4x4. Four four, or a 2x2, two two, actually. I'm gonna make it super, super small, a little beginning hut. Steal my pickaxe? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. You know, he just made me drop it. And he, he's gonna keep hitting me till I die, is what's gonna happen. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and you cannot lay a bed on the ground, but I can lay a bed on this foundation here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set this bed here. So, when this guy kills me in just a minute, I'll have a place to respawn. Oh yeah, see that's thinking ahead. See, you gotta, you gotta be thinking ahead. See, I'm starving to death too, so at least if I respawn, I'll be full. Yeah, potty mouth, that Therosina did destroy me, sir. Um, I, I was screwing around with a Lystrosaur, and it killed me. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, and you see I'm cold. You see there's the little uh, food icon and the little uh, snowflake. That means I'm kind of cold, and it means I'm really hungry. So we're going to go ahead and put this fire right outside the little hut, because the hut's not really big enough to have the fire in it, and we won't need it anyway. Not inside. And we're going to put some wood. You can also use thatch. You can use uh, spark powder, which you'll learn how to make very soon. Uh, and we'll put the meat in there. 17 meat and some wood. Light the fire. And that is going to slowly cook that meat for us. And while that's working, doing that, we're going to work on getting the rest of this little hut built so we can be utilizing our time, maximizing our time. Give me wood, give me that wood. Oh, yeah. Got to hit that tree. <laughs> oh. See, it says cold. You should find warmth soon. It's because it's nighttime, and I'm nearly naked. I've just got some little cloth pants and a uh, shirt on. Good focus on building clothes. Building clothes is important, but, you know, first and foremost right here, I really wanted to have a place to spawn at. And I have a place to spawn at now, which is awesome. Go ahead and build this last one. And 2x2 uh, two two, Thatch Hut is extremely small, but it will be uh, perfect for starter purposes at this moment. So, let me see. This, put this down here. Put this down there, that down there. And yeah, we got we got almost enough stuff out of that drop to build this entire freaking hut, which is pretty awesome. You see, there's many different snap points. You can get it on the right snap point that you want. And if you push the, uh, the uh, right trigger is what actually puts it down. If you push the right bumper, it will change the snap point that it's on. I want it on this one, though. Alright, so we need uh, four more of these. It looks like I had enough stuff on me to make them. So I'm just crafting them straight out of my toolbar. If I hit the button to uh, drop it again, while there's nothing in that slot, it will craft it if I have the materials in my inventory. Which is a nice little helpful hint. Oh, uh, one short. No, no, I'm not one short. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, you can build this higher, but you can actually... It looks like it's going to be too low with just one high. But you can actually get in it with just one high. So, uh, let me see. What do I need to build more ceilings? Ceilings are like foundations. They're kind of expensive. So I need fiber. Let's come. Oh, there's it all kind of looks the same when it's thatch. Uh, go in here. Um, and if you push X or square on the PlayStation, it will uh, take you into the inventory of things. And you see I have some cooked meat here now. Oh, yeah. See, so I have this charcoal, too. Save your charcoal. 
Like that's why I'm saying it's important to set somewhere up where you have like a box and a bed because you really want to have a, a place to store stuff like charcoal is too heavy to carry around on you but you'll use a lot of it later to make gunpowder so save all of it if you can. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this food, eat a couple pieces. It's this spoiled meat, you use that to make narcotics when you unlock that with uh, the blackberries, the narco berries. So uh, yeah, save that. As you can see, it has a spoil timer on it. The first piece in the stack will spoil in five minutes, but the second piece will still be there. So I'm really going to leave that cooking, and we're going to go... Um, what did I need for the, uh, the ceilings? Mm, fiber, that's what I thought. It's always fiber in the beginning. You can build a sickle later, which allows you to harvest a shitload of fiber. And I'm pretty sure you don't get the berries when you do it either. You just get the fiber. You can tame stuff that harvests a lot of fiber. Um, but as you can see, like I've just almost got 50 fiber right there. It's really not that hard to get it. Um, pretty sure I can't get those. Maybe I just because the tree's in the way. Let me... I love how I'm like, I'm going to do like a short little beginning beginning tutorial and it's been almost an hour. Like, nothing in ARC is short. That's another thing that you need to learn right from the get-go is you're not going to do anything real quick in ARC. Everything is going to take a lot longer than you think. Alright, I'm building the last two here. This will be nice. Oh yes, so I have my little hut, and then I'm going to put my storage box down. Storage box. Oh yeah. That is fantastic. Now I have a place to uh, store stuff too, which is going to be awesome. Like this metal here, I want to save that, but I don't want to carry it around on me. Uh, all these freaking... Oh no, that was that was my actual torch. I want that. Hold on. Thank you. Re-equip that back in the slot. I, I hate having all these skins in my inventory, you guys. I'm sorry. It's 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 a nuisance to me. Um, we'll save this blueprint for this bed, and that way I don't really have to learn the Ingram for the bed. Which is nice. Here, so it's raining and it sucks. Take this meat. Yeah, we got some meat. This meat's gonna spoil as well. You we'll see it last longer. And the only the top piece in the stack will spoil when something spoils. All right, good here. I'm gonna take this. Uh, leave the fire in there. I'm gonna take the charcoal and put it in the storage box I have in here. Charcoal in there. Hell yeah. Close the door. Alright, now we have a safe place. I mean, it's not going to protect us from everything, but it is a lot safer than standing out on the beach. And actually, I want to do one more thing. I love to do this. I love the signs in this game. I love that you have signs and you can put signs down, and I like to do this. Just put a sign down, go up to it, which is the Y or the triangle button, depending on what you're playing on. And, uh, let's just do this. So, later, when I've been playing on the map for god awful amount of hours, and I've been, you know, been playing forever, I can, uh, you know, I'll run across, I'll run across this, and I'll be like, oh, look, that's where I started. I do this all the time. The beginning. Back in this damn hut because I'm cold. And you see, I'm not cold when I go inside because it's an uh, enclosed space, so it protects me from the elements. And uh, anyway, you guys, this was a, a lot longer than I was hoping it was going to be, but you know, there's just a lot to cover in this game, especially in the very beginning. And I hope uh, anybody that watches this that is new to this game, I hope I hope it helps you. You know, I hope that I I I showed you something that's going to help you uh, not be so frustrated and move forward in the game better. Um, as always, you know, if you, if you like it, please like it. If you, if you want to see more videos like this or more gameplay videos or, you know, like anything, I do all kinds of different stuff. Uh, just, uh, 
check my channel out. Or maybe, you know, subscribe, hit that little bell or whatever for the notification. And uh, as always, though, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good one.